the late Chief Sir Silas leaves behind a legacy of fighting for rural farmers and working tirelessly in various capacities, most notable is as the first member for the Koroka Open from 1977 to 1982, then as Governor General from November 20th, 1997 to 20th July 2004. Sir Silas joined the public service in 1967, working in agriculture in the Southern Highlands province, before returning home to assist locals acquire and run businesses. Speaking on behalf of the family, Wilson Thompson gave a brief history of Sir Silas's life and work. So we saw that Sir Silas was living in that uh, era that so many changes happened, and towards independence, he was also instrumental. In 1974, he left the public service and then joined the lay families in managing one of their plantations. And eventually, while there, he continued on to attending the Highlands Agricultural College and also helping so many businesses in Goroka and in Eastern Lands. Some of those Thompson said not only did Sir Silas take advantage of business opportunities, he also created the first local rugby team called the Asaro Hawks, who played in the expatriate dominated Goroka Rugby League Club. Towards 1977, we saw that the electorate of Goroka was created from the neighboring Daulo and Ungaibena, and he became the first member for Goroka in 1977, at an age, early age of 25. The late Sir Silas was the Minister for Works and Supply before being ousted in 1983. Despite this, Thompson said he was still a community man, serving on a number of boards, including being first mayor of Goroka town. Prime Minister James Marape said Sir Silas was a statesman who walked in very high integrity and maintained this into the last days of his life. He appealed to his villages and tribe to cast vote based on consciousness, on the value of good leadership, and for his tribe, his family, and his people to rise above tribal and materialistic type of voting habit that many parts of our country are known for. Governor General Sebob Dadai said looking back on the history of Sir Silas, a particular aspect of his character and leadership stands out. He is patient to see to it that his people fully benefit from the services meant for them and his active involvement in ensuring people, especially the farmers, receive maximum benefit from their cash crops and are not taken advantage of. He fought for the farmers to set up corporate bodies that would ensure the involvement and ownership by small farmers so they too can realize the commercial value of their agricultural products. The body of the late Sir Silas departed today for his hometown of Goroka, where he will be laid to rest. Melissa Wokasu, TV1 News.